Hey, welcome. In this video, I will share with you how you can create and set up a Facebook business page from scratch in 2023. Okay, guys, so without further ado, let's get started with today's video tutorial. Now, the first you want to do is you want to, of course, have your Facebook personal or profile account. Once you have that, then you come to the left navigation bar or anywhere you could find pages anything pages or menu related to pages so i'll just click on this okay now i'll click on create new page and actually i've created a similar tutorial but this was in 2021 so i've decided to create an updated version because facebook introduced the new page experience in 2022 so a lot has changed so guys uh, before i continue please like this video so that you can show it to more people looking for similar video tutorial okay for this particular video i will use a made up store name right so i'll use samade adelike samuel so i'll just call this samade store samade store okay what do we do um let me just put home so we sell home improvement so category just if you are into beauty or skincare just type beauty you can see you can select um, a there so i'll just use home improvement so we sell home improvement item okay uh what else so yeah let me just say all of these are made up right we saw quality uh quality home improvement product that will make your life easier and we deliver swiftly to your oh and we deliver swiftly okay so just use the description of your business or your product right so um let me just leave it that way then you click on create page create page now this is the most important part where i show you how to actually set up your page okay website i'll just enter my personal website at delicatesamo.com okay phone number i'll leave that empty email address if you have all of that just input everything location i would leave that as well now as now if you operate a physical store right you could use this open at selected as so you can fill in when you open but in my case since i'm running an online store there is nothing like closing i'll just leave it as always open so the next thing you have to do now is to upload your profile picture for the page and the cover photo so i'll just click on this then so i just created this logo and the cover photo so i'll select this as well so you can decide to use your logo if you have a logo for your business or just upload one of your product images but at least upload something okay um this is cool so let me just drag this um okay let me go oh. Let me just leave it this way since we are just creating a sample page right now the next thing you see here is add action button so action button is just like the call to action that will be displayed on your page so if you want to direct people to your landing page your website your sales page or you want them to chat you up so you can just click on add button then i'll click on try it so what kind of button do you want to add so i'll just leave it as send message so you can select some other options here if you are a creator on youtube you can select this if you have a website you can tell them to learn more so there are different options so i'll just click on send message then I click on next and this may this makes it easy for people to send you message okay okay click on save now we are done with that now the next thing you want to click on now is next next button next button now this is the time we need to set up our page 
Now for the WhatsApp, you can decide to also connect your WhatsApp, but I'll not be doing all of that. But if you have a WhatsApp business or a WhatsApp account that you want to connect to the page, this is the right time to do that. So I'll click on skip, then I'll click on next. Yeah, of course, done. So we are done creating the Facebook business page and it could be a personal page as well. So if you are creating a page for your personal brand, maybe you are a creator, um, an artist, an entertainer, a comedian, what else? Or you are building a personal brand, let me put it that way. Okay, welcome to the new page. Can you see the new page experience? Now, this is where everything gets confusing but i'll make it interesting for you now the first thing i do is to click on this more so all of this uh now let me show you something let me show you something here so uh this is just the way facebook will um arrange your page do you get it now so what you want to do is click on this manage sections now there are so many things you do not want to have on your page like these books because what facebook did with this new page experience is to make it look like a personal profile you know all of those uh features that you have on the personal profile they actually brought it to the new page experience so you don't really need all of that because you don't want to have too much information that will confuse your customer and don't forget once your customer is confused on how to navigate your website or your page or whatever destination you have sent them to then that is a big roadblock to make a sale i hope you understand so i'll just uncheck some of this stuff tv programs films uh sports i don't i don't need all of this check-ins no question no music no now these uh other this other um what's it called menus now cannot be unchecked they must be there that's what facebook is trying to say likes do you really need that no reviews given now you can decide to turn this on or turn it off well i'll turn this off but you can leave it anyway if you have people giving you reviews okay now that we have done that now the next thing you want to do is click on this three dots here then i uh, go to page and tagging settings you can see a lot has actually changed now i'll just try to explain some of the things we have here okay who can post on your page not everyone i only i always um, select this only me now the next one who can see what others post on your page well i've selected it is only me that can post so every other option is not necessary allow others to view and leave reviews on your page so you can enable that or turn it on uh, turn it off rather tagging who can see so i'll just leave every other thing here yeah i'll leave every other thing now the next thing let's look at privacy setting okay who can see your feature post i think everything here will be uh left that way now let me explain something here so here is the thing if you are trying to build your facebook page organically like you are trying to build a brand you understand you can leave this as yes and leave this as on but if you are running some kind of e-commerce business that you do not want like you do not really want people to see your product and all of that well people that understand this understands what i'm saying you can decide to turn it off yeah you get it now we just want traffic from your advert well people that understand understand what i'm saying you can also turn off this recommended I actually do for some of my pages depending on the kind of page i'm creating so you can turn those things off okay so the next thing here is to click on this public post public post now pay attention here pay attention very very important Okay, so you scroll down. Now, let me show you something here. Now, in case you are running an advert and you do not want people, you know, when you start running an advert, there are certain people that will come under your advert and start to promote their own products. Like they will tell you, um, okay, you know what? 
they will comment on your advert and tell people that are commenting and asking information about your advert they will tell them they have the products you are selling so you want to block some keyword so you don't need to do everything manually you can see a variation of keywords that use numbers symbols or different spellings are automatically hidden example three three so you just need to enter one of these uh, facebook will do the rest now hidden comments with these words remain visible to the people who wrote them and their friends for everyone else they are no longer visible so um let me just give you some keywords here <laughs> example 419 uh, another one thief another one scam scammer <laughs> nigerians can be funny uh okay what else so just use any keyword that is related or just use any keyword that you know you do not want on your page right depending on your geography and your location another thing you want to enter here is uh, gg in case you are into e-commerce or drop shipping jumia i don't want people saying this it, it is on jumia stuff like that you can also remove china um fake <laughs> i'm just trying to see if i can remember all of this okay so uh, these are the ones i can actually remember at the moment so just click on save click on save and i think that is that about that so you can decide to restrict what uh, people that can access your page by country or by age so if you don't want probably you are selling to only or your audience you want your audience to be from a particular country only then you can fill that in here but i'll not be doing that and also for the age you can also specify here as well so i think that is that about that what else every other thing you can check anyway but these are the things that i actually check okay so i'll just click on settings uh new page experience let's see what we have here okay 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 yeah let me explain something here so when you click on new page experience now you see page access so in case you have someone probably um, an agency or an advertiser that is running ads for you or that wants to run ads for you instead of you or you you want to hire someone the social media manager to create posts to reply to your comments and all of that so instead of you handing over your password your account password and login details to them you don't need to do all of that all you need to do is uh, just click on add new year then you can decide to click on next and search the name of the person on facebook but, but be very sure because there are so many people bearing the same name on facebook so you want to be very sure that okay this is it okay let me search and delete it somewhere I think there is only one Adelike Samuel Tilope. <laughs> so you can decide to add, but I'll not be doing that. So you can search or use the person's email address. I will advise you go with email address. So that, that way you not miss. So ask for the person's email address connected to their account. So, okay, should I? Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, let me do that. Let me do that. So let me do that. so i just want to explain something here so you click now allow this person to have full control or not so you can decide to turn this on if you want to give them full access now full control means they'll be able to create ads manage ads create posts reply to comment can you see but if it's just a social media manager just like um reply to inbox messages can just click on this only give access without turning or toggling on this okay i think uh, that is that can you see community managers you can also if it is just community manager as i've explained can you see can moderate chat comments suspend or remove people who violate community standards and see all admins of this page okay so that's that about that now page management history that is not necessary page quality you can check your page quality in this era whereby there is so many page restrictions right okay page recommendation 
okay so you can um, see all of this but i don't want to actually waste time so once you have all of these things these are the most important thing that you have okay now you want to connect your instagram and your whatsapp just come to settings then click on link account so just click on connect to connect your what uh, your instagram and if it is whatsapp click on this enter your mobile number and you'll be able to connect but not be doing all of that here so what else i think that is everything so i'll just click on this then you have it so you can start making your post you can now use the page that you have created to run adbat as well okay and um now here is the thing before you know before your page your facebook page is actually embedded inside of your facebook profile but that has changed so now you need to can you see where i click on now check the top right corner of my screen click on it you need to switch can you see if you want to switch back to your profile you need to switch to your profile so guys uh that'll be all for now but here is the thing if you have not subscribed to my channel i will advise you do because i'll be publishing an amazing tutorial this same week or just check this particular video on your right and i will see you in my next video bye for now